All right, so quick video today. Um, I may have mentioned this before, I don't remember, but one of my favorite things to do um, while I'm working is in the background, I'll be listening to a YouTube video uh, a lot of the time. And I listen to different kinds of things, but one of my favorite genres is anything related to scams. So I like to see, you know, scammers in action. I like some of the scam baiters that just have a little fun with them. Um, and I like to see some of like the behind the scenes of the scams too. And, and so the other day I found, I think, I've seen this before, I think, probably like a year ago. Um, I found a Vice video about internet scams from Ghana. And these are the people that email you that say that, you know, they're you know an investor or something, you need to send them some money or that you want a prize or something. Or or these are the ones that, you know, pretend to be a hot girl and, and they scam you out of money and that kind of thing. I was watching a video about some of the subculture in Ghana surrounding this scam industry which there's apparently there's a subculture and like people make movies about these scammers and what they do is they mix it with like witchcraft and you know voodoo not voodoo but you know things along those lines um anyway so so this is a clip from one of the movies called sakawa boys this is a popular movie series in in, uh, in ghana sakawa boys and if you've ever been to africa you know the kind of uh store that sells these movies <laughs> But anyway, I was listening to this, and I thought to myself, I've heard this logic before. Where have I heard this logic? And maybe you'll know, maybe you'll know what I'm talking about. Let's just listen to this. This is Sakawa Boys. An underground economy of fraud and witchcraft called Sakawa. Once upon a time, Ghana then, gold glittered. There came three vultures in the form of white men, they gradually stole our gold and other resources. It is with their technological intelligence, which is the internet, <laughs> that we are taking back what belongs to us. So the idea is, the story is that you know, Ghana had all this this wealth and resources and gold was glittering on the streets and stuff like that. And then the white man came and stole it all. And so this internet scam, all it is really is is getting back what belongs to them, rightfully so. So you do it by fraud and witchcraft. I really wish. I I wonder if I even I haven't looked this up, but I wonder if I could find the full Sakawa Boys movie. I heard, I heard it's a series like with like ten parts. I would love to see Sakawa Boys. I don't know about you, but 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 think, where have you heard this logic before? I've heard it. Maybe you know what I'm thinking. Maybe you know what I'm thinking. Anyway, I uh, hope you have a good weekend. I hope this video was, well, I don't know if it was helpful, but I hope you enjoyed it. God bless. Also, one more thing. Uh, next week, I'm going to be doing the Founders uh, By What Standard review. Uh, hopefully, that'll be very helpful for you. If you haven't seen the movie yet, I definitely recommend seeing it this weekend if you can. It's really, really good. Um, but we'll be talking a little bit more in depth about it next week. And also, if you if you uh, want something specifically covered next week, um, go ahead and leave me a comment in this video. Let me know what you'd like to, to see covered. I can't promise I'll do it, but i um, looking for some ideas for next week. I've got some things in mind that I think are going to be good, but I'd love to, to help out anyone who has an idea um, as well. So anyway, hope this is helpful. God bless. You know, I was thinking, you got to give the Sakawa Boys some credit, though, because at least in the Sakawa Boys culture and their ideology I mean they're pagans they're like the peg of the pagans trust me like the sakawa stuff it's it's witchcraft is what it is um but at least in that realm it this logic makes sense like you can punish the sins of the of the fathers onto the sons when you're a weirdo pagan guy that bites the heads off of uh, chickens and stuff like like that's okay in that ideology christians don't have an excuse for this kind of thinking though they really just don't um, anyway, hope this is helpful. God bless.